Hey guys, it's Jacob with Tandy Lab. Today we are going to be taking a look at this MFP420S desktop computer by Grid Systems Corp. You may not be familiar with Grid Systems Corporation directly, but if you use a laptop, much of its technology was pioneered by Grid. Some architectural configurations found in larger desktop systems also came from Grid. Grid Systems Corp was founded in 1979. Back then, Grid was known as a stealth startup, which means just what it sounds like. The company hides its activities from public view to prevent easily copied ideas from being stolen by competitors. John Ellenby from Xerox Park, Glenn Edens, Dave Paulson, and Bill Mogridge got together to form the company, which was headquartered in Fremont, California, and the company went public in 1981. Grid Systems had a handful of firsts throughout the 1980s, including the first use of the Intel 8086 and the 8087 floating point coprocessor in a commercial product, and the first use of a separate system bus for peripherals. The MFP420S is not one of Grid's most notable or collectible systems. It was manufactured by Tandy Corp around 1991 after they acquired Grid and before Tandy's computer division was acquired by ASD Computer Group. All of this was before Samsung acquired all of them. <laughs> what constitutes a notable system for Grid? Try the Grid Compass 1101, which was an $8,000 laptop. That's $21,270 today. The 1101 was light years ahead of its time. In fact, it's considered to be the first laptop ever. It was the first portable to use non-volatile bubble memory and the first to have an electroluminescent display. The Grid MFP420S is all Tandy. The name MFP420S is actually the name of the Tandy design motherboard found in the grid system. There are, however, some features that make use of the added hardware, such as the joystick ports and the parallel port. A floppy disk controller, IDE controller, and a mouse port are already on the Tandy motherboard. The Grid MFP420S had an Intel 486SX CPU running at 20 MHz. The Tandy chipset along with the MFP420S's board was the first to make use of the 487 coprocessor, which actually contained a full 486 and could perform floating point calculations. This was something the 486SX could not do on its own. The MFP420S could hold up to 32 megabytes of DRAM, but had no onboard cache support it utilized a Phoenix Grid API for the BIOS. The Grid MFP420S has a similar exterior to other Tandy systems of the time. On the front, you'll see the badge, power button, and floppy drive. On the back of the system, you'll find the AC power connector, two unused ports, two joystick ports, a parallel port, the keyboard and mouse ports, and three external expansion slots. Two of the slot covers are missing from this system. Our system is in pretty good condition. It could use some cleaning as usual, and the two expansion slot covers are missing, but overall it looks pretty good. If you guys like this video, please make sure to check out all of our other first look videos. We have over 50 Tandy computers in our collection and other amazing computers from Apple and Commodore and IBM and a whole bunch of really cool stuff. So make sure to check out the on-screen playlist where you can binge some first look videos. And uh, I'll see you next time.